Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, what a great, what a great, uh, great um, Monday again, up with 30 minutes past, 36 minutes past 8 p.m. Of course, this is the East African time, 15 days of uh, February. And it will say my month, month in Kama is song in a song. What for Valentine, what for Valentine, Jana? What for Mbawa, Kuenda, Nji, Ama, Wakupelekwa, Pahali, Munajijua, Ole, Wenyu. What for Mbawa, Wana, Mbawa, Redi, Kwa Panel, Karibuni, Sana. Lakini, Kama, Kawaii, we make things happen the way they happen, yeah? So today is a very great day because to make what you can get a panel up with the panel and my kid, and all the time to na Julisa, Vijana was a speaker, Aji. That is just one question. Like in Leo, we are taking a very different twist to na Julisa. Katika yu harakati ya kuskika, how do we turn our voices into action? How do we turn our voices into action? That's the most important point today. I'm your host, Okoto Pondo, kutoka my kid to Shujaz. Na kwa panel, ni kuna marafiki tayari washa to join hapa. Ndiyo mbio wate ni wapatie time. Oweze kujintroduce wa tuambie ni nani kutoka pandegani. Let me start with the lady in blue. Tuambie tu ni nani na unatoka wapi sasa hivi. Which part of the country are you in? Um, hi everyone. I'm Josephine Flora. I am a student at the University of Nairobi pursuing a bachelor's degree in education. I am currently in Kiambu County, Kikuyu town. Thank you. Yani watu Nairobi University lazima ikuwe the University of Nairobi. E the mlisema mta hii acha. Okay, sasa so, turuke to the gentleman in the panel I think uh, Somi. <laughs> eh uh, ah uh, uh, Barizenu Nyote um my my name are uh, ni my name are ama aina neno. <laughs> Bora tunakuelewa. Eh uh, my name is uh, Matthew Mudomi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, na na sana kuwa hapa. Mm. Salimi, okay. salimi Aya, Aya, okay. Happy birthday, Matthew. How Thank old you. are you now? Twenty-eight. Ah, thirty-five. to the lady in red. Now now you tell me Valentine. Now my uncle will pick a leo. The sand men are colorblind. In orange. I am sorry. You're in orange. We know not red. Hi Kenyans. My name is Kathleen Gikonyo. I go Nakuru County, Igaton University. Pursuing education in English and literature. Hey, okay. So what's our level? Education at Papa. Aya, sasawa. So going straight to Mbiombio, sasa to Kisonga. Vile vile leo pia kwa panel, we made, uh, as we promised, wato wame kwa kiuliza sana hapa hivi. How do we get voices which are very neutral, voices which are uh, non-aligned? Voices zenye tukiongea tutasema ni NASA, ni Jubilee, ni Tanga Tanga, ni Kieleweke, ni nani? And today the panel, I mean, we have a gentleman, most of you probably wanamujua, kama umujui suju unatoka Kenya gani. At the background, wano imandikuwa haki, iwe ngao na mlinzi. <laughs> Dr. William Tunga is not new to us on the panel. Dr. William Tunga has been even featured before kwa hizi comics za Shujaz. So najua Dr. William Tunga hapa ni kama uko nyumbani kabisa hata kama tuko online. Karibu sana kwa panel. Daktari maybe sasa utusalimie. Uh, naona ni kama umemute. Eh. Nataka <clears throat> ni wasalimie na nizungumze kisha tuendelee au Eh, tu salimia, tu salimia lafu ndiyo sasa tena turudi tuwanza ima zungumzo sasa. Aa, ah, aa, ah, basi, basi. <laughs> Sawa, mjambo. <laughs> Tujambo sana. <laughs> ah, na fry kuwaona. <clears throat> na asande sana kwa mwaliko wenu. Mm. Ya, yeah, na shukuru sana. Na, na, na asu vile wajia tuseme asante sana kwa kuitikia wito wetu. Mm -hmm. We know that um, sometimes maybe sasa hivi ungekuwa shughuli zingine lakini the fact that umekubali kukuja kukaa nasi hapa shughuli gani na nimestaff eh umestaff <laughs> lakini unajua shughuli ni mingi <laughs> lakini karibu sana <laughs> da, sasa daktari ni kuna vijana hapa they just are actually they just a representation of uh, the kind of audience in yeah. Kikunayo the people who are following our programs hapa this is the age mm -hmm. na ni watu ambao wako all across the country ni watu pengine how to apart apart like what TV all the time? Like, in, this is where Sisi Tunakuja and we find it more of a safe space for us yes. to discuss the issues which are affecting us as young people. Now, mm -hmm. we've been here since uh, COVID started. We've, uh, we moved our programs online as uh, Shujaz and as Mike Yetu. 
Now, mm. um, we decided now to take a very different twist and uh, start digging into the issues in affect vijana sana sana. So one mm. thing that we discovered that it is about platforms where young people can be heard, platforms ziko, na ziko nyingi sana. But mm. sasa ili zo sauti zikuje zigeuke into action. That is why we are on this panel today. So maybe kwanza aja nisikia kutoka kwao, then tuarudi kwa kwa uh, yes. Sao. Yes. Yes. Sao. Matthew. Matthew, aya, ah, sasa. Yes, Matthew. yes. Matthew, mbona sauti, mbona unawani kama we keep talking lakini, action uh-huh. taziko, action as yambatani na the, the speeches? You know, uh, you mm-hmm. know, the, the thing is, mm-hmm. mimi, for me, I can stand ni hile ni, ni seme juu juu. Mm-hmm. As, as myself, as someone who is going through the struggle yenye tunapitia, mm-hmm. kama kuna kitu moja tunapitia ni vijana wako ignorant. Mm-hmm. Wacha tuanze hapo. Mm-hmm. If we can get to a point where vijana tupungu, tupunguze tupunguze ignorance. Mm-hmm. Lakini sasa nayo leo tunasema voices zetu tunazi tunazitana <coughs> into action. Sure. So mi nataka tu vijana penye wako. Wale wana watch wale, penye, kila mtu penye yako. Why don't we start by basic things? Mtu akipiga 18 Mwambie register register to pige kura next year. Mm-hmm. Because now it's a time where tuache sasa mambo ya kuongea. Sasa tuende juu juu. Mm-hmm. Tuseme saa hii tunataka tunataka change. Mm-hmm. This is what we want. Sure. We don't want we are not talking about this person or this other person but let's just talk about India. Okay, uli uliwane. <laughs> Tuelewane kila mtu aseme sasa sasa hii ndio tunataka kama vijana. Mm-hmm. Juu shida ya vijana tunaweza kuwa na hizi mashida zote but you know we need to get to a point whereby tuseme kama tunaenda ni kama tuna tunakata right tukate right kama ni left tukate left. Mm-hmm. But we need to now turn our voices into action because we cannot we cannot Okay you keep muting Matthew acha nikipiga kwa Keti Gikonyo you keep muting Keti Gikonyo mbona sauti zetu na much as tunaongea sauti zetu watu wazitokei kabisa na ziweze kusikika na zitan into action Keti Unmute unmute Keti Unmute ndio ongee Pole Eh uh-huh. Acha kwanza ni sema kitu moja uh, like two days ago Yes We were having a conversation with my friend na kaniuliza Unafuata mtu ameanguka kwa matope na amevaa all white na akiamka hajipanguzi. Mhm. Akaniuliza what do you do as a person who is following? Huyo mtu ameanguka kwa matope akaanguka na akasimama na jipanguzi. Nikamwambia mm-hmm. Like the society right now ime the society yenye iko mbele yetu imetufunza when you do a wrong thing. Mm-hmm. Kwa sisi kama vijana ni kama vitu tunafanya ni vitu tumeona wetu akifanya you know you follow what your, the steps of your mentors okay so vitu tuna, tunafanya sahi like tumeona wengine wanaamka na wafanyi anything the same thing Matthew amesema mm-hmm. kama tunafuata right tunaenda right si wote if you want a good government let's register and vote for the leaders that we want okay like to see kai to apo like we are complaining of a bad government and we ourselves are to just vote or when it kifika that time mm-hmm. tuna enda direct we had agreed on something but mm-hmm. kifika hiyo point una change mwelekeo unatafuta ingine. okay so one of the things we should be patriotic let's vote mm-hmm. and let's not only vote for like i said earlier before the show started let's not vote for power can we vote for leadership that is to say as 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 a society okay and vijana wenye yetu. Okay. Okay, yes. sawa sawa. Uh, Flora, naona una smile smile tu nini na kufurahisha sana hapa before tusonge mbele. <laughs> Sasa na imagine kama ni mimi nimeanguka kwa matope na nguo ya white. Ningefanya nini? <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah. Um the reason why most young people just talk and talk and uh, nothing is done, I'll say it's because we young people have not realized the power we have 
the day we realize that the power is in our hands, it's within us, we can do it. Like 70% of our population comprises of young people. Kama sis in your majority, mm -hmm. Bona had to implement most of the things that are happening around our country. It's because to make Kubali Kukwa manipulated into the system such that ata nikisema mimi kama flora, nitatoka hapa nje nipatiwe a hundred bob na politician and boom ni shahau, whatever agenda I had. So I think that is one of the reasons why we as young people to now get to hatuwezi implement. Okay. We have not realized the power mm -hmm. we have. The day tutajua, eh, ikitu by the way ni yetu, we will start rising mm -hmm. to the occasion. That is the day mimi kama flora ni tamka na niseme, I have decided I want to be the next president. And no one will come and start telling me when mwanamke hawezi, wewe si mkikuyu hawezi, wewe si mkale hawezi. Because it's not about my tribe, it's about what I can offer. And it's about, am I thinking about the future of the country? You get so Nikki realized the okay. power I have and what I can offer. Mm -hmm. Trust you me, mm -hmm. we as young people will go far. So about that question on why young people are not uh, moving forward with what they say, it's because we are, I, I'll say, I, don't, I won't say it's ignorance. I'll say we are not naive. There's a word for it, but we just have, it, it's not inferiority complex, but we have a problem. We just don't know what we have. The day we'll realize to connect your power, upon not trust you me, mm -hmm. the power lies in the hands of the youth, but the youth have mm -hmm. not realized the power is within them. That is the reason okay. why we are not implementing most of the things we say. Okay, that is very great. So before I come to Dr. William Mutunga, let me just take, um, uh, take this time and also read the comments very fast. So as I allow Kate, uh, Flora and Matthew, to take just the link from the chats there and share it out with your friends. Weka kwa status, Instagram, weka kila pahali. Acha ni some easy messages mbio mbio hapa tusikia watu nasema aje uwenda pia kuna swali, daktari na zajibu hapa. So Boazinyo Gala nasema youthful platforms are being chaired by the likes of Kinamudi Awori. Okay, hii memuma sana. Ni kama ni kitu wametaka kusema miaka na miaka. Boazinyo Bala nasema in Kenya it is not the leader you vote for, it is the leaders they want. And ele kusema shida siyo kuregister, shida ni why should I register? What is the motivation to register if everything is just the same? Uh, Danny Mwasa nasema DJ Boy Mgani kila kitu kila kitu iko sawa hapa. Uh, Sami nasema by building up our nation, that is the only way we can participate in that. Then um, kwanza maproduza wache kutupinya sana kima, kima elf. Okay, sawa hiyo simwelewi. Ian Martin, good to see the Honorable uh, CJ on the platform. Karibu sana. Manoti Manoti nasema good evening the CJ. Tunakupenda sana. Okay, sawa. Anauliza hata kama unataka contest for a political seat. Anakileti anasema ni kondani na sibonyezi pande ingine. Watu wa bamburi wako locked. Jesse wakisera anasema manzai na fa kwanza tukue na serious youth leaders. Wenye wana air grievances zetu uko juu. Oladola anasema sisi kama mayuth itakubali tumeku, ita, ita, itakubali tumekubali. Maisha kutoka kwa wakongwe. Yani siku hizi imekuwa tunajifanya tunajelewa lakini hakuna kitu tunaelewa sisi kama vijana. That is very interesting. Uh, Jokson Anasema, the first thing is young people must be united. But the question is united on what? Okay, that's very important. Engineer Benjamin Simio Anasema, Mazema youth wa change character zao. So that uki tuki talk, to talk kama tuko serious and then to taskika. Nani tena hapa hivi, Johannes Bang Anasema, mwenyewe ni kondani bro from Eldoret. All these concerns, very interesting. Bwana CJ. Si baru nakuita CJ yata kama ulishato kapala kini. Title najua hayendi kabisa. Karibu sana kwa panel, you've heard the voices of uh, this young amazing Kenyan. And um, one thing that even gives me the hope and um, the, the good feeling to have you on the panel is uh, not just that you are the CJ. I look at Dr. Willy Mutunga wa 1990s and 80s from what I've read and how you people were able to come together and organize yourselves and I mean get form organizations, form parties, form nini nadi penye mkafika. What is, what is the problem, Bwana CJ? Is from what we are talking, kuna penye tumekosea enya tuoni ya manini nafanyika? <laughs> Unmute? Umemute? Yeah, Aya. that's a, you know, that's a great question. All mm -hmm. right? Yes. Um, because you, you have to realize that uh, the, the youth in this country, muna reflect tabaka mbali mbali. Okay, so there's nothing like um, uh, homogeneous youth. Okay, mm -hmm. 
kuna 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 nani kuna vijana ambao wamekulia Korogosho, Mathare, Kibera, alright? Mhm. Kuna watoto wengine ni tabaka lao baba zao ni yao tunawaita wanalahai, sio? Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo uh, when we talk about the, the collective voice of the Kenyan youth, eh? Mm-hmm. We, we have to realize that there are many voices and these voices also are conflictional okay yes. but what i know is that the majority uh, of the youth in this country are very very clear about their material interests okay kwa sababu ukimuuliza nani any young person uh, what exactly do you want they, they, they have no problem watakwambia elimu eh kazi watakwambia afya watakwambia nyumba watakuwa land uh, what we call public goods sio mm-hmm. eh? uh, because once if you don't have a job you see you have no human dignity it's so it's so, so basic so they know but the reason why uh, the you don't have a collective voice in this country is, is because of the politics of division okay mm-hmm. politics of division in this country since independence and we get divided on the basis of ethnicity race uh generation you know gender region religion uh, even occupation eh? farmers against uh, pastoralists right naikuwa uko unatoka nani kwa somali kuna clans vile vile ambao kuna no kuna you know division before you even come to the rich and the poor okay mm-hmm. na hawa nani hawa nani tunasema ulikuwa unawaita una kieleweke tanga tanga kuna tinga tinga kuna manga manga kuna hata <laughs> kuna group nyingine inaitwa kutuanga tuanga nadhani hiyo ni offshoot ya ya jubilee that that that, that particular group those those groups particularly ethnicity and religion eh, they are very very deep seated uh, issues in the politics of uh, division kwa hiyo sijui nani alikuwa anasema nadhani ni ni flora au ni nani alikuwa anasema uh, anasema kwamba we have the power mm-hmm. lakini kuna ile manipulation sio mm-hmm. Eh hata ikiwa kuna collective voice watu wanapatiwa hela bas wananani wana wanasahau uh, maslahi yao which is which is true that, that that's the division and the people who rule this countries have ruled this country since 50, 63 they are very very clever people very clever people they are in power because they know how to uh, capture leadership you know if it's on the basis of uh, religion or basis of ethnicity they know how to do it and they repeat they repeat they repeat lakini i think uh, if if the young people in this country wanted to change it and they must you must change it because you are the only people who can change it and if you don't change it you will not have a country anyway with the, those debts za wa za wa China za Marekani na waingereza na wazungu siku moja tu mtakaa hapa mwambiwe sasa afadhali muhame within 24 hours kwa sababu hii nje CN kwa hiyo ndio wakisema hivyo mtafanya nini si mtapigana sio na mwezi kuondoka so I, i think in terms of politics is very clear to me that eh, if we moved to the politics of issues and the politics of humanity uh, the youth will have a collective voice because they know what they want they want the right to work you know they want quality education they don't want an edu- education that is commodified and privatized because it means kids from the poor homes will never go to any university it's too expensive all right and my generation if the government did not pay our fees at university and later 
you know, give people what, what was called, uh, they used to call it a boom. Before they came to, uh, to the new liberal university where they were taught by IMF and World Bank, students have to pay for their education. Sasa ndiyo higher education loan board wa kaja, kutoa loans and so forth. Lakini like education, because it's the mother of all progress, should be free. You know, it should be free. And the, the facilities in university should be the same. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, as I've said, the right to work. Wakati wetu ni kwamba tukuwa wengi. Lakini I remember uh, tulikuwa tunafanyizu interview on a Friday and on Monday walk off scene. Wisha pata kazi. Tukitoka mm -hmm. Dar es Salaam tunakuja kazi tayari ipo. All right? Mm -hmm. kwa, kwa hiyo sasa it's a political power is so critical. I mean, and that's why young people have to plan. Okay. Sure. Uh, I think there's a is it is it or is it Kate who said that she will she will like she, she will like I don't know whether it's Kate or Flora. Kuna moja lisema uh, uh, she wants to be president and she doesn't want to be taught because she's from this community and whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but my view is uh, young people should capture the, the county assemblies in this country, all mm -hmm. of them without exception. Mm -hmm. And it's easier because if you go to your ward, maybe actually you are known by everybody there. Mm -hmm. And then you come, we start from the bottom up. Those of you who become very good MCAs will, will, will basically have a shortcut to being a governor, mm -hmm. you know? And, and let's forget about president because we have to implement the constitution so that uh, because of resources and power, hmm, the power starts from the bottom up. And the bottom up is the counties because that's where Power, you know, power should be, mm -hmm. uh, and that's where university students and other people who are interested in politics. I think that's where you know they should start uh, and make sure that you are creating changes from the grassroots up. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, mambo ya piki piki atina loans na nini hiyo ni hongo. I'm talking about you being like the pastor in the village, like the priest, you know, in the village, you stay in the village. They know you are broke. They can't come asking for money. In fact, they'll give you money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so even, your system can be like that. If you go to your village as, you know, you want to be an MCA, they know you have no money, but you can give them service. You can, you can make sure that there's no corruption at the county uh, government and so forth. Mm -hmm. uh, but to do that, you have to form your own movements. You have to form your own uh, political parties. I don't know whether you guys have heard of uh, the three political parties I know, uh, Okweli, mm -hmm. uh, there's another party called uh, um, United Green Movement, Meskia, and, and then there's Communist Party of, of Kenya, Ile uh, Buka, mm -hmm. Buka Gesa. Mm -hmm. Na hii ingine ni Akinanduko, na Ile ingine ni Aneto. Mm. So there are quite a number of political parties of young people. Yeah. Ambao wataki kusikia mambo ya mabarons na mababevita wataki kusikia. Wanasema we, we are not, we want to uh, have a country where we have political power for purpose. Okay. So okay. It's, 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 it's happening. And I think it's very, very, very important to, to, to know that it's going to be difficult, but bear in mind uh, Kenya fought for independence for 68 years mm -hmm. and we it took us 40 years to change the constitution to get a, a new constitution 
Is so in any case, kama uyu Matthew is 29, anasema 29 or 27? 27. 27, there is no hurry. He can plan until by the time he is 50. 28, sir. 28, yes. Mm. By yes. 20 years, you can plan. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys have the time uh, to plan, uh, to, to, to basically take over state power and then you, know, you actually you, there's something there's something that yeah. is very interesting that you've mentioned up when yeah. um when you talk of um you talk and what i hear is that sometimes there's a certain sacrifice i mean there's something that we must leave that comfort zone and uh, do mm. something do you feel that there's something that we are not doing that needs to be done whether we like it or not maybe before i come back with the well, panelists yeah I, I think i think uh, i i don't I have heard people blame the young people, but I don't. Mm -hmm. I look at the reasons why the young people uh, are doing what they are doing, because we have to look at the root causes, right? Mm -hmm. You have to look at those root causes. Uh, if, you, if, if you can't go to university because you don't have the money, you get sick, you can't, you can't afford uh, you, you know, uh, medical fees, Mm -hmm. um, you are not housed. Okay, all those particular, you know, all, all those reasons, all right? Mm -hmm. I think it's unfair to, to expect that person not to get handouts, okay? Mm -hmm. Because if it was me, if I was in the shoes of anybody in Korogosho, where I go very often, and I see people being given handouts by politicians, I can't blame them, okay? I have mm -hmm. to blame the, the root cause of, of the politics and the system, not just the individuals. The, the, the fact that they are in this country, uh, we have stuck in equality. The Oxfam mm -hmm. report says that this country has 8,300 billionaires and multimillionaires, and they own, uh, they own as much assets as the rest of us. So that's, 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 when you have a, a system like that, uh, the, the young people are struggling, uh, they, it's, it's hopeless, okay? If the university students can't get a job, uh, or if they get jobs, they, they, uh, they, are, they are made, so whatever, they don't build the country in any way, you know, you're being trained. That's a problem, and those are the root, the root causes. So when you look with you, deal with a collective voice, don't be judgmental or don't basically say, ah, you know, we have lost this generation and so forth. You, you have to dig up, you know, the root causes of that. Mm -hmm. So I think what I see now is uh, exactly what we did in the 70s. You have problems and people come together like you have come, to, you have come together to discuss, right? Mm -hmm. And then you start taking action. So, mm -hmm. so, so, so I, I, I think, of course, I don't want to tell you that uh, the only thing that you are not doing is to overthrow these governments that oppress you. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not saying that. I know that root is also needs a lot of energy and so forth. But I want a situation that somebody mentioned about reading, about organizing, uh, making sure that everybody votes, mm -hmm. uh, making sure that people are registered when they turn 18. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you have your own uh, leadership, which is not, uh, which is organic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Waswahili wanasema aliyeshiba mjui mwenyenja, all right? So what, 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 what brings you together is to change the country and also capture power so that the resources are not stolen mm -hmm. and you can use them to give uh, kids uh, education and so forth. Mm -hmm. We know what the, that is what we want, but we, 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 we get divided. You know, we get divided either by the religious leaders or the politicians and they are very clever. Okay. So, you know, that, 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 I think that's now where we come into, and um, uh, Katie Gikonyo, you'd mentioned something, Flora, you'd mentioned something, and even Matthew mentioned something. Maybe just mm -hmm. your quick reaction, uh, Katie Gikonyo and uh, Flora, and what uh, 
Dr. Mutunga is talking about HIV. Um, do you think we are doing our part or like Gikonyo, when you started, you spoke so passionately. Then there's a gentleman who sent a message like Kisema, the problem is not even registering to vote. The problem is why should I even register to vote? What mm. is the inspiration to show up and vote? Kati Gikonyo, Catherine. Uh, actually, Kudakitu, Dr. William Esema, mm -hmm. that I may mention that we, at Faikuwa na Araka, as we plan, as Kama may mention a year 27 to 50, mm -hmm. but as we plan at Kukua in a better position as a country and as a society, na Sisi Kama Vijana, mm -hmm. like the system in a to suppress, like the people who are there, they're not even giving us an opportunity to plan vizuri ndo tufike at 50 to have mm. a good government and stuff. Okay. Shida see, Shida took on a, like Flora said, we have the, we know like, we don't, we, we don't know if the power is in our hands. Now you are Najua, the system does not allow like to kue like vibrant and stuff, to skew a kama vijana, like mm -hmm. one don't attack they don't want to hear new ideas mm -hmm. from me, the youth, like system in a to suppress, in a to like, uh, like, like Dr. Aliseva, like, Tunasoma, yes, as a university, it's equal like privatized, like our education. But the same people, ndio anongeza fees, na help yenye inye inafaku to saidia, inabaki the same. You get? Okay, okay. Like, we have power, but we don't know where to use that power. And if, if, mm -hmm. and if we know that we have the power, Mm -hmm. The system does not allow us to express our feelings and to express the power that we have and the ideas that we have to change sure. this country and to change all the systems. Mm -hmm. yes. But you cannot, uh, you cannot do it individually. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I can tell you that uh, the reason why I'm saying you plan and you persist and you go on is because I've gone through that myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, because systems are, our systems are not just Kenyan, right? They are connected to foreign interests. They're very, 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 uh, uh, you know, uh, strong. So, and I wasn't saying that you can't change until you are 50, okay? Mm -hmm. that, that's, that, that wasn't my point. In fact, I would love you if you can even in 2022 be in power, okay? As long as you know exactly what, what, what you want to do. But I'll be lying because the, <clears throat> the divisions and uh, the fact that politics is about money. And as you say, the system completely blocks alternative ideas, okay? And it has been like that. I mean, when I was in the university uh, and I went to detention when I was 35, we were fighting about academic freedom. Mm -hmm. Because they didn't allow us to read the books we wanted to read. You know, the books written by Ngugi Wathiongo and other radicals, Marxists, and people who are very, very, very progressive. Mm -hmm. You know, the Moi regime one day came and took the, those books from the library and from the, the bookstore. Mm -hmm. so, so, so they are not going to allow you to bring in those new ideas very quickly. Mm -hmm. So for me, the first port of call is what you are doing now. You are uh, coming together to talk, to talk about things, right? Mm -hmm. You are talking about education and particularly self-education is very important, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Self-education self uh, rescues the limitations of uh, formal education. Have you heard of Malcolm X? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, Malcolm, Malcolm X was a high school dropout, but mm -hmm. he taught himself in prison, okay? And he started reading and he became a revolutionary, you know, through self-education. Mao Zedong was also a high school guy, and he did a lot of writing and thinking and the practical organizing. He became even a general, you know, a military general. So the even when you are in the university, uh, uh, Catherine, all right, you mm -hmm. must yes. uh, you must be in a study group with some other people where you read the stuff now you are talking about. 
because the, the professor might not even want to hear what you are saying. Some of the professors, right? Yeah. They, 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 don't, yes. want, they don't want new ideas. So you've got, uh, and it's part of this organization because once you're organized, uh, like in Mathare, there is a, a young woman there called uh, Ariet Wanjira. She has a book club called Matingari. And you can go there and find books. There's a bookshop called Ukombo's Library, which is in, you know, in Nairobi as well, mm -hmm. where people, you know, you can go and read stuff. And if you are in a group, then you can, uh, uh, you, you can self-educate yourself, you know, which is, which is important. But everything revolves around organization like this one, you know, of, uh, that you're organizing now, if somebody didn't bring you in, right? Mm -hmm. And then you build and you build and then you start seeking solutions, okay? And the other thing I see here, which yes. is very good, is uh, uh, the group as the face of Kenya. So, you know, which is another problem. If you, you want to be patriotic, as somebody said, then we have to build this nation out of these divisions, right? Mm -hmm. You have to change it because it's, at the moment it's captured by the big five, you know, not the animals, but you know, the big five communities. They are the right. ones who have a say. They, yes. they, they decide who, to, who should be in, who should be out, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And they decide that uh, the president has to rotate within the five communities and so forth. So, mm -hmm. but your, your generation is cosmopolitan. You are getting, you know, there's uh, inter-ethnic marriages, you know, and friendships. That, that's a good thing, because soon, soon, soon you won't be asking, you won't be caring, you know, who is a Luo, who is a Kamba, because as I said, if devolution the works, the governors will be the presidents, you know, and when they get resources, the countryside will, you know, will, will change. And that's why this, this BBI and everybody else, that's what, what they don't want. You know, they, they, they don't want uh, bottom-up politics. They don't want that. They want a politics where uh, if you don't have money, you, you, you are out. But Dr. So, um, yeah. you've mm. mentioned something that is very interesting there. Maybe, maybe before I come to all Flora, let me just get your quick reaction. Then I go to some comments and already see some questions popping in, Flora. OK. Um, actually, when I listen to uh, Dr. Will is speaking, what I get is we are not yet to Huru. We are, we got independence, yes, but we are not free. We are still mm -hmm. captives. We are still under this regime where, like he's put it, the big fives have a say. We are not in a regime where I can be from Pokot and I have a say. You get, we, I, I think that, that is what I'm getting. And also another thing I'm getting like a way out of all this is we need to come together and rise to the occasion. There's no way I'll be here as Flora, I am speaking and I'm alone. I won't rise, it will be so hard. But when I pick Kate, I pick Opondo, I pick Somi and we come together and decide we want to elect one of us who's been with us, who's seen what we've gone through, who knows what a kid in Kibera goes through who knows what it feels like to go hungry? Who knows what growing the economy means uh, rather than this whole uh, tribal thing? Like someone who is passionate about fellow Kenyans and not just himself, it's easier to rise that person to power. But it becomes harder when me as Flora, I am here talking, but I am not doing anything. I am not rising to the occasion. I am scared to present my interest. Yes, you want change. How will it be possible when you are divided as youth? So what I'll get, I'll, I'll advise youth out there and what I've gotten from this whole talk is youth need to come together and have one agenda and get to know what do we want? If it is good leadership, what are we doing about this bad leadership that is at place? If you are there complaining about bad leadership and bad governance and you are the same, same person uh, busy benefiting from it, and eating on it, then whatever you speak outside your mouth doesn't help, it doesn't count, it's all hypocrisy. But when I say, I don't like this leadership, I don't like this governance, and I decide to bring youth who have the same mindset, who think 
in the same pathway that I am thinking. I am sure if we are five or even 10, we'll convince 10 others, we'll convince other 10, and the cycle continues. And with time, as he's put it, it, it change, change takes time. And with time, we'll get, we're speaking the same message to over a million people. And what happens? We get the change we want. But it becomes hard when we youths are speaking of change and doing nothing about it. So I'll say, let's rise to the occasion. Let's take the power because uh, as it stands right now, it is not given, it is taken. Unless okay. we go for it, we'll never get it. That is very interesting. Not given, it is taken. Ibrahim Guzman has said, Mahi Kenya ukitaka sauti kiwe in action, ongeza volume ikiwa na pesa. That is now ukitaka sauti yako isikike, lazimu ongeza volume na volume lazimu ikuwe na pesa. Prince Okule has said, just by airing out date most, um, outdated most common issues, youth do encounter a nation, I think. And Eklid has said, Nikondani na Sibonyezi, oke okay, sawasawa, ilikuwa nushia soma message yake. Alafu minority anasema ma youth tunapiga kelele huko Twitter lakini ground hatufiki daktari shida iko wapi hapo ndio sasa penye huyu jamaa anaitwa minority anasema kama ni hashtag sisi ndio tunatrendisha iwe ni Facebook iwe ni Twitter iwe ni wapi but now the thing is ground hatufiki shida iko wapi Bridget Deacon anasema you are the only people who can change it that is very interesting you are the only people who can change it na kai quote that is very interesting kabisa because um we talk, um, one thing that I hear from this show every time, uh, every now and then, that we are the majority, that we know what we are going through, that we know the kind of leaders that we want. Sasa Miss Waliangu in a routine back to the, all of us in the panel up here. How comes if we know what we want, then we don't get what we want? Sometimes we tunasema, say, matunenda kwa debe, tunachagua mtu flani, but then the same, same young people all of a sudden wanaza kusema, sisi tumechagua hivi, atujachagua hivi. What can I respond? What's happening? Yes, yes, Flora. Um, yeah, um, the problem is not the youth uh, on, on the implementation bit. I think on that note, I'll, I'll defend them a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you tell a hungry man to go vote, uh, to wake up early in the morning? When you are in the language, you are in the language. 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 Hana job, ako tu, like kazi yake ni kukaa bez, akichana, ama amepewa hiyo kazi ya mtani, ya kusukuma mtaro, yenye wanalipwa sijia after how long. Unataka the same same person, a preach gospel the same na yenye una preach. Sasa acha ni kuulize, we ukikuja kumuambia, izo words unamuambia, siju we need change, we need what. Na huyo politician na kam, ampatie punch, atasikiza nani. Si ata move na hiyo punch. Jua naangalia home, hakuna kitu kwa tumbo. Hakuna rent, landlord ndio uyo, hana job, hana hopes za kupata job, and nothing seems to, to be changing anytime soon. What do you think ata prioritize? Iyo 500 atapewa ama iyo advice utampatia. Ata kusikiza na anajua whatever you are saying ni ukweli, lakini hata kufuata kwa sababu at that particular moment, priorities zake ni tofauti. So we don't expect youth to rise up. When kama mimi kama niko na kila kitu, haimanishi ma youth sote wako na kila kitu. Majority of our youth, wame graduate. Sayu unasikia watu wanapewa wheelbarrow. I am wondering with my degree what I'll be doing with a wheelbarrow. Honestly, is it making sense? It can tell you where our politicians wame tuweka. It's like, yeah. akuna kitu important youth wanezafanya. Mimi niko hapa nasoma, four years ni malize, niende nipewe kazi mtani ya kusukuma takataka. And then you expect me, the same same person, Nianze kupreach another, a different gospel. No, the system imeamua kufanya youth wa feel more, lesser of people. Like wame to demean. There's nothing good that can come out of that. That's why tunapatiwa jobs demeaning. How do you tell someone who studied law, has their degree, to go and start sweeping mtaro? They should create more of employment rather than making them, if ukinipat, ukini empower, <laughs> na unipatie kazi, I'll make sober decisions. Mimi ni konjasi jalala. You know, I think about these things and I feel so frustrated. Na sato so na flora, ateo kazi ya kusweep mtaro, ateo kazi ya kusweep mtaro, just to cut you short, juzi tumiambiwa, the government imesema nao pesa hai, haiko. Pia yu kazi ya kusweep mtaro, pia sasa itaisha. Dr. Willi, <laughs> hapa tunazatua machozi, hapa vijana uwa natua wata machozi wa chongi. <laughs> yeah, I wonder, uh, nikuwa nataka kumuambia flora, eh? Mm -hmm. eh? Mm -hmm. Kwamba, you know, uh, I am Jesus, is mm -hmm. Na Muhammad. Na eh, wana mapenduzi 
mapinduzi wengi mm-hmm. right this this idea uh, of uh, persistence it's always that small group of people you know who change the world eh? mm. and they keep on doing it if you read the story of jesus the story of muhammad and uh, the story of some of the people who are uh, great politicians here you know like raila you you trace their trajectory okay it's 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 a lot of persistence and a lot of uh, trying to get uh, uh, traction you know uh, of of the you know the their ideas <clears throat> and 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 that's why i think uh, the our view of you, you know uh, having an idea that grows and grows and grows of course that's what i was talking about organizations isn't it yeah. organizations ambazo zina msimamo the ideology politics is known this is what they want to do um and they are emphasizing that they are an alternative to what you know is uh, is present but because that is the minority voice okay mm-hmm. so it has to move from the margins to the you know to you know to uh, to the to the center and sometimes it might take 5 years it might take uh, less it might take 10 years but it takes is the same thing i was saying pastors don't leave their flocks in the village they stay there mm-hmm. the priests stay there uh, so even your generation uh, you you if if you are going to uh for example if a lot of you decide uh, this movement or should just uh, in 2022 you are going to contest uh county elections maybe t- 10 of you right yes you start preparing uh you know preparing for it invariably you will find that you have to go to that place and uh, start uh, like a missionary talking to people door to door you know you know every day and so forth that's what mwangi did in uh, in uh, stare he was able to talk to 90000 people uh, in the process he was given 14 million by people to campaign mm-hmm. and although he didn't win he got 16000 votes now once you get 16000 votes you build on it all right and that's why the issue of the the period becomes important because if you have lost uh as mca ustoroke hmm, you you just have to become a professional politician there and as soon enough they will know you have no money so they will have to feed you eh kama yule kijana wa meru yule alinuliwa ni jubilee si alikuwa na anatembea tembea na campaign kama missionary sure so 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 i think they are models but the important thing i think uh, is to basically agree that the status quo doesn't work for you all right mm-hmm. that's the first realization the second realization is what you are saying now how are these voices going to take action all right yes okay and the action um, because the machinery of violence in this country is so harsh then you have to use your your brains then that's a, that's how you you basically start by convincing people you know uh, flora says that uh, uh, that person there was in the eaten uh, you know they will not listen you know covid has changed all that eh? people have started listening about about governance because they have seen what governments that don't help people do okay yes. they if, if, if you are telling people to wash their hands and yet you allow the cartels water cartels in nairobi not uh, to to basically sell water when you can open the taps you know who knows that very well so if you want the islands to get water you, you, you just open the taps and 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 the, the, you ch- you charge water but it will be cheaper than the water that we buy from the cartels okay mm-hmm. so 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 it's 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 basically something that you have to if you are in a ward those are the kind of things you'll be talking to people about tunaambia mimi sina pesa i want to serve you 
in the following way. And you go on just like Jesus Christ did, Muhammad. You, you get beaten, you know, the thug who is the MCA comes after you, you know, <clears throat> but because you are not alone, you know, Opondo is in uh, Bondo and then there is uh, Catherine Gikonyo is in another place. Um, you know, Mike is in, you know, Matthew is another place, but you are coordinated. And once you get something, you celebrate it and you, you know, you, you, you carry on. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I think this idea of, uh, Flora was talking about, once that idea captures, the imagination of people, all right? Mm -hmm. The people have a lot of money, I can tell you. They have a lot of money <laughs> uh, and they can give you money, you know? You go to a particular place like that, utawambia uh, kuchote nusia, what they give kama sadaka. And if they think your, you know, your ideas are, you know, are good, they will, you know, they will listen. Mm. Yeah, the reason why people take bribes and I can tell you this from, from experience, is because the, the message itself is not different. And if it's, if it's, not, if it's different, it's not believed, mm. okay? Even if you say you are going to take a particular action, will the people believe it, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a tough call. Uh, but I'm, I'm sure, you know, it, it, it can be done. Uh, and there are so many youth groups that I know there is the, uh, the Obonyo one that there are congresses and so forth. So you just have to coordinate them. Yeah, you get a consensus because some of, some of you might be radical, others liberal, others, you know, uh, there's too much uh, religion in them. But you agree that the youth must have jobs. I agree. The youth <laughs> must have education. And that's yeah. what we are going for. You know, it could be a single issue mm -hmm. that ignites, uh, you know, the change. Because people feel it, feel it. I mean, uh, you know, not having a job and you are a graduate, it's the worst humiliation you can have. Mm. The, 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 your, your human dignity is crushed you know, completely, okay? Mm. Um, so, 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 yeah, take issues, and there are issues in the Constitution, as I say, that you can take up, but I think education, for me, uh, it's, it's, it cuts across, you know? Even if you are from the middle class or from a rich home, uh, they, they will respect you for basically saying, everybody must have education, not just us, uh, the kids of the rich. And then this, this sounds very interesting, Dr. Terry. So even as we head to close to the end of our, of our show, I want to go yeah. through some comments very fast. But uh, before I go through those comments, let me just give all of you a small task. Mm. Uh, Kate, when we are back, I just want to hear maybe you are closing right now what is our takeaway? Because we say at my kate, we don't just come to complain, complain or raise our issues, but we must also propose possible solutions. To someone who is watching all the way from Busia, Kilifi, Amawe, Trukana, Ama Penyaniko, but right now I'm hosting this show from a northeastern part of Kenya, <laughs> uh, oh. not in Nairobi. Yeah? So um, for someone who is watching, regardless of Penyana watch, what should this person leave this show with? You know, well, I mean, Wauliza, but uh, for Dr. Mutunga, mine is very simple. When will the collective voices of the youth be heard? I know we had discussed that one. So to me, I would just like to brand your closing remarks, whatever you want to tell us. To me, that's what I'm saying. When will okay. the collective voices of the Kenyan youth be heard? So before I come back to you people, let me go through the comments so that we also assure the viewers that we are together, we are following uh, whatever they are commenting and everything that they're telling us. So uh, engineer Benjamin Semino and Semamanzema youth were changing characters out. So to talk, to talk, come out a speaker. I, had, I think I'd already read that, but um, it's just wise to read it. And then uh, Emmanuel Smile and Auliza, Dr. Mutunga, is it the big five tribe, tribes or the big five people? Because Yana Nikama is not really the big five tribes. It's the big five people who are pretending to lead the big five tribes. And now we think it is about the big five tribes. Mm -hmm. Jeremy Atambo Apanasema, 
Atambo hapa tuned in from Kilimani Nairobi first two more greetings zangu kwa honorable CJ zimefika bro a true role model and a very humble leader secondly mulize how we can fight the very system that is against us do we need to get into the corrupt systems and fight from within or change from within powerful question atambo i think this is a question tumekuwa tukibishana sana should we form movements outside the government and fight the government and fight the system or should do we just get into the corrupt systems and fight from within to kitoa watu pole pole george wecha anasema kama mayuthi ni ngumu sana saa hii mtu akusikize solo pia gava haiwezi so naweza nikawaaje tu to form groups kama ma cbo na kama tunaweza sikiza maybe we might get the help we need cuz saa hii tunahitaji a lifetime solution atutaki hizi vitu ndogo ndogo zenye tunapewa kila mara ross gikonyo anasema i can see ket gikonyo so compost okay get you kwenye naona uko na followers hapa tayari wanasema they can see you uh, sante sana and but it's always so nice to see a sister or a brother or a, or a mom or a dad following whatever you are doing it means someone and i believe in what, what you are doing ni ku this fresh anasema how watu wanatuangusha sana kila mara sijui youth ndio tuna change mara sijui nini alafu kiti kama mca unapata mzee ako 65 years old ndiye amepewa it is crazy then mtu anasema hapo hivi saizi bonga lia kama hii bbi inalidiwa na watu wazee na anasema hapo hivyo may his soul rest in peace but uh, um, the former sen the senator wa garissa county alikuwa 8 years of age na ana lead kitu inasemekana inafaa ku connect different generations hatuelewi but may his soul rest in peace we know garissa people lost their senator all shall be well eh? Uh, Samuel Amasi anasema do do what you want to do not to impress but because we want to do it and the government should learn from there amazing Evelyn Masina anasema hey CJ in the house i'm so happy to see him Lochama Isaac anasema i think kutia moyo ndio itakuwa issue za kuelekea vizuri then keep chir chir Ezra Mutai anasema uko locked unatupata ukiwa pande za Eldoret James Kamau kutan voices ni kukataa tu kukua influenced na politicians yeye anasema hiyo ndio answer because our question was how do we turn our voices into action yana sema to turn our voices into action simple kata kuko influenced by politicians whichever way possible brian mwanga anasema hapo sawa bernard kirui ki protich team team anasema watching live from kericho really i really love the show okay so sawa the nani tena hapo hivi um, david mugire vijana tuna tunatakikana tuwe na information about kuajiriwa but vinoma youth leadership very important anasema youth leadership then kuna jamaa pia anasema to change how things are is not just about young people going to vote it's also about young people contesting okay mm. this is quite amazing <laughs> tuanze na kitu kikonyo alafu tuende kwa flora then takuja kwa cj hapa the question to the cj na maybe itakuwa very good way also to close uh, the show when will the collective voices of the kenyan youth be heard kitu kikonyo nianze na wewe ukiwa pande za nakuru Uh, before ni seme kitu nilikuwa nataka kusema there's something uh, mtu alikuwa amesema mm-hmm. we are trending sisi ndio tuna trend kwa hashtag sure. but kwa graphic fiki mm-hmm. I, i think I, I, like i want to differ with him because kwa ground tunafika lakini tukifika kwa ground mm-hmm. tunatolewa na vita we are being shot tuna trend kwa hashtag tunafika kwa ground but the same people that we are trying to remove and the same people that we are trying to show them that yo you're not amfanyi kenye tunataka you're not doing things up to date no na tutoa yes tunafika kwa ground but the same system inatufusha like how to ski kabisa and kwa vijana wote let's like flora said sisi ndo tuko na power can we try and mobilize everyone tunachukua watu 10 watu 10 wanaambia watu 10 Let's be strong let's be strong with our ideas and let's be strong with what we say and let's put everything into action so easy it's not time to go up what the government will say what they'll do can we try right now to change kila kitu let's be confident and air out our views and air out our actions kama ni kwenda kwa wacha tuende not once sio tu tunachapwa leo kesho turudi tuchapwe leo kesho turudi na the other day and the other day until we see a change in this government until to one like vijana tunaskizwa and what cc vijana tunasema iko in the system and it is being done the right way okay kate that is so powerful unasema kama ni kuchapwa tuende tuchapwe turudi kesho turudi kesho na kesho kutu wasi ndio and by the like even some that mtu alikuwa ametext hapo hivi hata police wenye upiga watu au watu wanapiga ndio hata wanatetea watoto wao not that hata wao wenyewe wanaishi maisha mazuri 
Okay, okay. So, before, before ni kuache wende, salimia watu wawili watatu hivi. I know people are following, maybe kama ni mom, dad, ama nani. <laughs> I want to greet my mom. Thank you for watching. Uh-huh. And uh, thank you, Opondo, for this platform. And I want to send my greetings to Dr. Willy. Thank you for uh, being in this show. Yes. Karibu sana, Kate. Na salimia watu nakuru na watu wa Egypt on University wote. Flora, tuendele na wewe sasa? Your parting shot? Okay. Uh, my parting shot. Mm-hmm. I'll say, let's rise to the occasion as youth. That's what I'll say. And when I say rising to the occasion, what do that do I mean? We have issues like extrajudicial killings. We have early pregnancies. We have drug and substance abuse. We have all these issues affecting the youth. It's so obvious our government has uh, had issues solving such issues. It all comes back to us. What are you as Opondo doing to make sure that girl next to you is not getting pregnant? What is you as Gikonyo doing to make sure that cowboy next to you is not going to steal somewhere? You get. So it's back to us as you. Let's rise to the occasion because I believe we all can't scramble for power. We all can't be presidents. We all can't be governors. We can't all be in power, but we can be in in charge at our own capacity. Mimi kama Flora leo ni kiamua, I want to start an initi- initiative ya kuongelesha wa shana to make sure they understand. Let, let's not a sanitary pad make you get pregnant. Let's not this make you go and steal you get. Let's start empowering our young ones in our own little way yenye tunaweza. I love for those of us that have the capacity to rise to leadership. Now we can support them from there. If Opondo wants to be a leader, let's Let's listen to him. Let's get to understand what are his manifestos, what are his interests. Will he be able to represent us in a particular way? Can he understand what we are going through? And then let's support him as youth. Let's get to understand. Let's also get to explain and make the older generation understand that PSCC took on a wisdom kidogo. You know, the problem is they think, ah, oh, my youth, like you get, the moment we'll make them understand, PSCC, we can take up this power. And Vilegikonyo Amesema, once you've decided you want change, it can be created. It is a take 50 years, it can take 40 years, but let's try, while well, insist, in our small capacity, take charge, rise to the occasion, try and transform the environment around you. And it will be so easy to make, to, to, to rise to power. Ukipata, that's, um, the girls around you understand this is how they are supposed to carry themselves. And the boys in the in your region, all vijana wa mtawa na elewa, eh, by the way, ibangi, kuna vile inipeleki mahali, kuna vile ikuiba si lazima, kuna vile si lazima, niende nifanye kazi ya mkukote, ni neze na chuo, ni gain knowledge hapa kule, hapa kule, na ningi, hata kwa tashari institution, nifanye cost flani. Tukishawa empower, our ma boy na madem wenye wako chini hapo, hata kama ni kwa ghetto, and they get to understand when they wako empowered, Ni raisi sana to go back to the same people na uambie sasa tufanye hivi vijana tuchague viongozi wenye watatuende watatuendelesha pale tunefika. Okay, so mm-hmm. tumesha kuwa empowered tujijenge sisi wenyewe. Thank you. Okay, salimia mtu wawili watatu hivi that's an opportunity to give everyone. <laughs> um ha, whom will I say hi to? Okay, I'll say hi to my sister back in Busia. I'll say hi to my friend Lillian who is here listening to me. And I also say hi to all the panelists today. Have a blessed Aye. night. Aye, sasawa. Now my question to Dr. Willy Mutunga, even as we close, and uh, Dr. Willy, if this happens, Mimi, I'll just like even to pick that part pekiaki and we push it out in social media. When will the collective youth voices of the Kenyan youth be heard? It sounds of a, as a title of a very good uh, paper that can be done, but I want to chop your paper if you say it. When will the collective voices of the Kenyan youth be heard? What should be done? What should these young people do? <laughs> you know, you know, I've already answered that question in some way. Sure. Because I've said you've got to start from the basis of uh, organizing. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yes. In that organization, your vision must be very clear, you know, mm-hmm. ideologically and politically. Okay? Mm-hmm. Make it very, very, very clear you are very unhappy with the status quo, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because that one, once you reject, then you can start talking about uh, the action and uh, you know and uh, uh, strategies. That is that is the the notion of what somebody called the idea. Okay, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because action is the one that you take so that is believable and is credible. 
and you you know pe people start listening because they might not you know when you look at leaders they 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 immediately they talk sometimes they are not listened but they keep on you know talking about something and people start uh listening so yes organization the vision uh the fact that you know you want transformation and you know uh the action as i've said and everybody seems to 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 agree with this is that you know the, the guy who said that you have to contest power it's not just a question of you know registering mm -hmm. okay there are some of you who are contesting power so these others are registering to vote for you because they know you won't let them down okay mm -hmm. that's why movements give birth to political parties you know and then uh, the politicians and when you know not to be influenced by politicians uh it, it depends on what politicians because if it's a current one yeah that's great but you have to be influenced by the new politicians who have new politics and who have convinced you that change must come all right sure. because the politicians are the ones who are going to, to hold uh state power in trust for you all right so movements are about enslaving politicians so that they don't they they don't uh they don't betray you so 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 those they are important and i think in terms of the vision you have to be uh, make sure that you condemn the politics of division you condemn corruption you you know you you, you know you say given a chance education is going to be free there's going to be universal health care that you won't steal resources and so forth uh, you might even want to say you abolish prisons because that's where you young people go prisons mm -hmm. are full of young people and uh, and and those are the people who become desperate the system makes them de desperate and then locks them up uh you have to uh, build solidarities with the east africans the continent and you have to be you know aware of the um uh, aware of what happens globally uh, you will be hard when you are you are you are, you are educated or you are self educated and you are coming with a uh, new politics and new you know new ideas they will, nobody is going to uh you know to ignore you and if you are talking about issues people will listen uh you know uh, eventually so i i think that's basically a uh, pointers to when these uh voices will be heard because if for example all the youth groups in this country formed uh, a movement uh under the right to education mm -hmm. you, you know you 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 just that message you catch fire you know across, across the country it might be started by your group but if the other groups take take it over and they are all over the places you know they are in lamu they are in kisumu they are in lodua you know all those places so so i i i think you 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 will be taken seriously because of because of uh, demographics you know you mm -hmm. if 81% of kenyans are under 35 mm -hmm. and that's that's power there is uh, i think flora was saying uh is it the big five uh, tribes or the big five <laughs> is is a you know it's a, it's it's a great question but uh they are integrated mm -hmm. the five people have brilliantly managed to mobilize their own people all right mm -hmm. to accept their politics of division all right mm -hmm. so 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 uh you 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 can't uh, divorce raila from the luo community you can't divorce uru from the kikuyu ruto from the kalenjin kalonzo and others from the kamba and uh, the others the luyas you know the five so there is the the what they have done and uh, uh, the last thing i want to say about you your voice being heard mm -hmm. is the moment you are you you know and understand 
why the barons have such following. Mm. When you understand why does uh, prophet, uh, prophet uh, David Owo uh -huh. <laughs> have a following, okay? You have to study that and see what it is that makes them tick because it's the, they are followers you want to capture. Okay, yeah. so uh, I think I think I will just stop there and I think there's somebody who said that we are not yet Uru. That's the title of um, Yaramogi book. Odinga's book. You can read it because what he was saying and then in 1967, I think that's when it was published. It's still true today. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's true today. The, the only thing that has changed recently is that uh, the Chinese have come in. They were not there in 67. So, uh, <laughs> but we, that, that's when I, was, when I was basically saying you got uh, to realize that you might have to fight to free this country because of the debts, because of uh, the, the, the fact that uh, we are still colonized, okay? That's why if you get time, you read an article Ngugi Wathiongo wrote a while back, you know, which, which was actually the, the title was, is Mau Mau coming back? Mm. You know, tracing the history and uh, whatever you guys are speaking, you have to realize that your problems are regional, they are continental, and they are also global. And the forces that you 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 want to change is not it's not the barons, it's not you know the 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 five big men or the five big whatever. It's the fact that that is connected to you know uh, colonialism, imperialism of the West and the East. And uh, that's what, you know, you, you, you've got to be talking to, you know, to people about so that they realize, uh, particularly your generation that didn't go through colonialism and saw what was happening, all right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that's why education for me is so important. I so surprised history is never taught. So, so that's why I think people should, uh, have you know do their self education okay yeah <laughs> what a good way to conclude it i think um uh, to mefika mwisho wa kipindi chetu sasa the end of our show up hivi for everyone who's been following since uh, 8:36 hadi sasa hivi we are so grateful today to mepita kidogo time lakini inabidi wakati mwingine because when the discussion is too sweet some things cannot just be repeated easily. So to Miamua Leo to chape to chape to chape kabisa. The question was, how do we turn our voices into action? You've heard from Flora, from Kate, from Matthew Alituacha kwa panel, and even from Dr. Willy Mutunga Pa Ivi. And you know what? Everything we discuss still goes back to you. The decision that we choose to make as young people near to two, the decisions in Tamua ku make, whether to make to Kiongen Shengya Islam, Zama Shengya Kibera, Ama Shengya Kisumu, Ama Mombasa. Decisions are decisions, and they must be decisions about the future of this country. So, um, from my side, Mimi Dasematupia, thank you all who managed to join us today. Whether you want to join up our panel, or you to to Fortilia Pale, um, Facebook, or Fortilia Shozetu, and even to Dr. Willy Mutunga. Asante sana, and we hope again to keep you invite up with Rudy Tena na Tena na Tena. Zaragia na Tena na Mazungzo, Mazito, Mazito, Kabisa. Tena na Tena na Tena. Yes. Ah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> And um, <laughs> my special greetings go to a very specific region. Nilikuwa pande za Garissa recently, na nilikuwa one of the schools in Etwa Garissa High School, na NEP Girls High School. NEP means Northeastern Provincial um, uh, Girls High School. Now, our toto wakati nikuwa natoka pale, unajua there's something wali niambia, nishangaza sana, that um, nikiongea na wawo na niambia, unajua nyinyi watu wenye lengumu, mmetusahau sana, nyinyi watu wa downtown Kenya. So nikauliza mbona downtown Kenya. Wakanambia sisi tukisha wana yo river, river Tana, ukisha cross, ukaje Tana River the other side, na ukaingia uku Garissa, sisi ya tuoni kama sisi ni wakenya wakawaida, lakini show ya maiki yetu tusha ifuatilia. That thing really touched me, nikaona. There's that struggle to fit in. Either ni system imeweka watu fulana, watu tu fulani kama wamekuja wakajitenga na mara mingi, I feel a lot of pain even when you go to northeastern ama wapi ukitoka, unambiwa salimia wakenya. Unashindo tu salimia wakenya kwa ni tuko wapi. But for someone to use such kind of a statement, then it means kuna shida pahali. And that's why we are saying the voices must be raised higher and higher, and they must be heard. 
we understand the challenges of watoto wa northeastern wanapitia uh, whether ni south rift north rift nyanza province central former central province coast na kila pahali and young people regardless of the side that we are taking our agenda vile tu tumekubaliana hapo hivi must be pushed whether uko team nani ama team nani what is important that our agenda must be pushed asante sana see you next time it has been a great show have a good night everyone watu wa kafi wakimbie before kafi before police wa wachape hautasema ulikuwa mic yetu have a good night everyone <laughs>